Hey everyone, uh, I was just having a, re a conversation recently with a friend of mine named David, a great guy, and he was asking about tubes, tube bending, and all sorts of other stuff. There, he's got a big project going on, and um, he was asking for some advice about the better CAD system. Now each does something better between Katia and NX. Uh, both super powerful, both super capable. So here you can see I got my Katia window. I'm just going to go into generative shape design. Now the the first part of this I give to Katia as far as the polyline. I think this is really a good tool. I can just come through and pick those points. And once I have those points, you see he puts them all in the menu. Anywhere there's a point between uh, two additional points, like point two is between point one and three, point three is between one, two and four, so on and so forth, I have a radius value. So at these corners, I can just quickly and easy enter in a radius value. Now I hit the enter on the keyboard a little too soon, so let me go to 35, go to this one, we'll go to 45, hit enter, and there is my center curve. Now with that, I'm just going to simply go into sweep. There's a circle sweep, center and radius, pick that. Put in my radius, select OK, done. What's beautiful about this is that that polyline now controls everything. Pretty simple, one feature I go to, done. It uh, allows me to um, just pick on it and here are all my radii. Pretty simple. I have all my corner points. So if I do make a change to one of my points, you know, you, you'll see it just updates, does a good job. Polyline updates, it's great, beautiful. Very, very happy with it. Now. This is where I think Katia kind of falls over a little bit. So the only circle function that I have really is a circle sweep. I can create a sketch for the inside and outside diameters of the tube and then sweep it. Or I can do what I did here is create a uh, surface, go into part design, define and work object. And with that, I can just simply add in a thickness in the direction that I want. Now that I have my tube, let me go ahead and hide this. You can see, pretty pretty straightforward, quick and easy. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another line. Make another line. We'll go in the Z direction. There we go. And I'm going to copy the sweep. I'm going to paste it on that line. Uh, do here, Click OK. Now this is where in V5, to find a work object, I'm going to go in and split away that end, keeping the outside. So as you can see, it does a nice job. OK, got my split. If I need another tube, I can just insert another body and do a thickness on that sweep in the correct direction. And voila, you have it. Great, simple, powerful. Love it. Next is NX. Now with NX, it takes a little bit more up front to get things set up. Creating the points is basically the same as in Katia, but with this I have lines, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, so on and so forth, that I have to create as individual elements. It's not that big a deal because as you can see, it happens quick. Okay. Now with the arcs, uh, all I have to do is come in here, pick my two lines, enter in the value that I want, and apply. So you can see it, it's powerful, does a really great job. The one thing that Katia does better is the polyline. It's a little quicker, right? and everything is in one feature, which is nice. I, I personally really like that. I'm not saying I don't like this, but it's, a, I think, a little easier in the Katia workbench or Katia tool. So now that I have my corners in place, you can see I have all my parameters there, all my everything that I need to make modifications. I'm just going to simply go into Home, and I'm going to go here, create my tube. Now, with this, selection intent is important. I want all my curves to be tangent, and I want it, so with my selection intent, I want tangent curve. I want them to be stop at intersection, and I want to follow fillet. So what this means is I just simply pick this and preview. That's beautiful and apply. So I've got my tube. As you can see, I have my inside outside diameter all in one place. It's really, really nice. And because of that, I think in this case, NX outshines Katia because I have 
Now, the one to one feature, I don't have to do the thickness, I have everything there controlled. And again, I can create parameters and control things as I want to. It's really, honestly, not that big a deal. Both tools do an exemplary job. Now that I have that, I'm just going to make a line. And with that line, I'll just pick this endpoint. And let's see here, we'll go into Z, we'll drag this out, select OK. And then for that, same thing. I just want to create a tube. Now you'll notice that with this, I just, pretty simple, I just uh, right mouse, or, uh, first mouse click out in space somewhere, pick tube, pick the curve that I want to go in. Now you've got to be careful with the selection intent, otherwise it'll stop short at that point. So I'll just pick that, and you'll see it stops short because it's stopped at intersection. So I'll just turn that off, unselect with the shift key, reselect it, and again, put in whatever value that I want. And OK, and there's my tube. Now, all I need to do is trim the body. I want to trim this to this outside face. Pretty straightforward. Just go back to home, trim body. What am I going to trim to? That. What am I going to trim with? Now, you'll notice this body faces. I just want a single face. I just want this outside face. I don't want the whole body. So you can see that's uh, the side it wants to get rid of. I just reverse that, select OK. And magically, just like that, I have my trimmed face. And, and again, same thing as, as I did in Katia, right? I can come in here and make, double click on that point, make little modifications. Whoops. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Oh, that's what I did. Let me make this uh, feel a little bit small. It actually overlapped. It's my bad. There we are. It isn't anything that NX did incorrectly. It's something that I did incorrectly. Basically, I made it so the uh, fillets one fillet grew over on top of the other fillet and created a, a, a discontinuous chain of curves. So that's my fault. Now, as you can see, I have the same kind of parameterization. I have the same kind of power. Um, you know, the, like I said, the Katia model, you have the polyline controls the center line. The NX model, you have the tube function, which controls the tube. And, you know, six one way, half dozen the other. Which one do you like better? They all do the same kind of thing. Um, in this case, based off of, uh, you know, what I'm doing here, I really do like the polyline a lot. But uh, um, I really do like the tube a lot. So it's, I guess, at this point, up to the user what the user wants. There's no big, big enough difference to really matter. Anyway, that's uh, creating tubes and cutting and trimming and splicing and filleting and so on and so forth. And uh, at this point, it's basically a toss-up. Thanks.